Hi, I'm here with uh, Jack Sangster, uh, newly inducted to the Thompson Wall of Fame uh, 2017. So, uh, congratulations, Jack. Um, Thank you. You know, uh, we were here not too long ago uh, putting your dad's picture up, so, uh, you know, Thank you to the Sangsters because uh, you know the whole family, uh, right through your mom to your sisters and to yourself and your dad for you know being a big part of this community. Um, and and we'll we'll start talking about that when you guys first moved here, when the Sangsters moved here. Well, that was uh, back in 1961. Uh, we came up and we drove to the pod and got on the train there and uh, hit Thompson. That was uh, July 2nd. And July 4th, it snowed four inches. I said, put me back on the train. I want to go back to Flin Flon. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it was, uh, there was no place for us to stay, so we stayed in an apartment, two-bedroom apartment. Of course, uh, Mom and Dad had one bedroom. My three sisters had the other bedroom. And lucky me, I got to sleep on the couch until <laughs> our, uh, our home was ready, it was built, and... Uh, our Christmas present was moving into the house Christmas Day. Oh, right on. So, yeah. So, uh, I know you told me you were 15 when you moved here, right? 15, yeah. Yeah. And then you started playing minor hockey, running the first midget team. Well, yeah, there was three midget teams. And uh, it was, uh, you know, it, some guys couldn't skate very good, but it, it, it was a start. And I had played all my minor hockey in Flint Flon. And then uh, I was asked by uh, one of the senior teams to come out uh, to play for them in, uh, at Inkel. And I went, oh, and, that, and I was 16 then. And I, I was a little leery because uh, I'd seen one of the games and there were some big boys out there, you know. And uh, so I, I decided to go out and a couple of guys said, don't worry about Jack, well, you know, we'll take care of you and everything like that. I think I was only 100. 40 pounds at the time. So, uh, yeah, I seen some crazy things happen out there in that league, and uh, uh, it was. Uh, and one of the things you did, you told me that I didn't realize was uh, you guys played at a juniper rink, and they had a rink at uh, the camp, right? Yeah, it was uh, the minor hockey played out of juniper, uh, but the camp had their own rink, and that was right at the plant site. That's right. right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Which is uh, which is neat, and I didn't realize they had that. Yes. Okay, so then you uh, you play your minor hockey, you move on, you play Thompson Hawks after that? Yeah, I played for the Thompson Hawks. I capped them for uh, uh, six, six or seven years, and uh, then uh, I got the job uh, in Portage coaching uh, Portage Terriers that year. So I... But first, you won a midget, midget uh, Provincials, the first... Uh, Before with... that, yeah, with... Uh, uh, Dennis Fenske and uh, Kelly, 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 Davis. Kelly Davis were on it. Uh, uh, a lot of guys uh, went after that, played junior. So would that have been the first provincial title Thompson ever won? Yes, I'm going to say yes. We won that in Winnipeg, midget double A. Yeah. And when they, we come back here on the bus, they pulled the bus right into the back of the arena and they had a big band. I don't know where they get the band from, <laughs> but the band was there playing for it. There was a crowd. Well, I could tell you where the band Red probably got the band somehow <laughs> and got it. But uh, okay, so then then you uh, obviously you have a great season with the midget, and then you get scouted by uh, Portage Terriers. That's right. The MJ. Yeah, and uh, a lot of our players from the that midget team got scouted, and they went to play Western Hockey League and and Junior Tier Two, uh, and and uh, like uh, Dennis, he went all the way up to Victoria, uh, Portage, uh, uh, Patty Janelle. Uh, drafted him and uh, he ended up out there and there was a couple of the Flin Flon Bombers. Kelly so. Davis played Flin Flon Bombers, drafted in the NHL. Yeah, and played Hicks. Uh, uh, Glenn Hicks Glenn well. Hicks, yes. So, uh, yeah, that was just kind of the start of the, the coaching career. Uh, was uh, uh, So you play, you coach one year in Portage and then uh, uh, Thompson uh, did they buy an expansion team, or did they just buy a franchise? They they, they uh, were a new new team in the league. Uh, Dad went down, and nobody else <coughs> thought that we would get it. So, and he went down, and he, I mean, he had to he had to offer them a few concessions, like they flew up. Yeah. And we had to bus down, and uh, a 
for three games and sometimes four. So, I mean, that, that is the history in itself because that was our first junior team. Um, any memories from that? Um, well, uh, the big football player from uh, Winnipeg Blue Chris Bombers, Walby. Chris Walby. I come up to his belly button, you know, and I couldn't believe that he was playing. And I just said to the guys, I said, if you hear those big swish, swish strides coming, get out of the way. Just yeah. get out of the way. And uh, I remember he hit the, he hit the, our Swedish, little Swedish guy, and he goes, and I, I'm, Tommy, are you okay? Because he limped to the bench, and he lay down the bench, and he was out of breath. And I said, are you okay, Tommy? Yak, yak, he called me, because he couldn't <laughs> say the J's. He says, I hurt like hell, but I try show no pain. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And uh, we, we had uh, some uh, real good games, and it's just too bad that Inko was starting to struggle. Uh, Nick, Nickel was down, and uh, so the crowd started to dwindle a little bit, and uh, uh, we started going in the hole, and uh, some of the members on the board panicked and decided to sell the club to Winkler. They wanted a junior A team. But uh, other than that, I think uh, they panicked just a little too early uh, or we would have probably still had Still them. had a team. Yes. Um, then you move on to the Western League after. Or actually, no, you have one. Doug was telling us about a year and a couple of years in Tabor you had. Uh, two years in Tabor. And, and there in Tabor you won Coach of the Year one year, right? The first year I was there, yeah. And uh, that was a tough league. I mean, we had... Uh, like Mark Messier played in St. Albert, and uh, all the Sutters, three Sutters, played in Red Deer. Yep. And I was out there, and it was, like I said, it was a very tough league. And uh, at that time, uh, those years, you know, the Broad Street Bullies were winning Stanley Cups, and, and they were doing it through fighting. And that's what was happening out there. And, uh, but we, we had some good players and some, some tough cowboys on our team. <coughs> so you move into uh, the Western League with Regina was your first team, right? Uh, Regina was the first team. Uh, it's funny, they called up here for me when I was up here for a month fishing, and uh, they said they would want, want to talk to me about uh, coaching. And I'm thinking, well, they just hired a coach, the Pats. I mean, they must want me for... Assistant coach? No, uh, they must want me for the junior uh Tier yeah, two, right, right. And I thought, well, I I won't move laterally, yeah. Unless I'm going up, upwards, onwards, and upwards. And uh, so I got down there, and they said, no, we're looking for a head coach for the Regina Pats in the Western Hockey League. So what happened to your other coach? You just hired. I read in the paper. Well, he decided to back out at the last minute and stay in the University of Lethbridge. Oh, okay. So. Right there, so I got my opportunity, and uh, we uh, placed uh, number one overall. We uh, beat out the Calgary uh, team, and uh, we lost out to them in the playoffs. Uh, Mike Burnham played goal, and we just couldn't get any pucks past him. Yeah. Um, <coughs> and then we, uh, you move on to Seattle. Two, yeah. two, three years in Seattle? Two years in Seattle. Yeah. Uh, first year, uh, we had a very, very tough tough hockey club and uh, the first uh, I think uh, 20 games we were 4 and 16 and um, we, we went on our, our trip uh, we started in Kamloops got our bus taken away from, from us and uh, we had to wait in Kamloops for a day and a half before they gave us our bus back because there was a lien on it so we traveled all the way to Winnipeg from Kamloops. We only stopped at McDonald's to grab burgers, and uh, I had to drive two or three times through the prairies so the bus driver could get some sleep. And I never drove a bus before, and that was interesting. <laughs> so uh, yeah, and uh, we got back from the road trip. We lost every game. And next morning I come in and see the owner and he says, uh, so Jack, how did the trip go? I said, well, John, I see some good things and I've seen some bad things. Oh, well, tell me about the good things. But I thought I was going to get my pink slip right after our meeting. 
And uh, that's when I, I knew we, we were tough. Our guys are tough, and we have to change our style of playing. And, and we did, and it worked. And uh, we, we win five, six games in a row, and drop one at, until the end of the season. And the first place team was uh, Victoria Cougars, and they had about 12 draft choices. Guys had already been drafted. We, uh, we beat them, and it was again through playing tough. And uh, we come up against the Portland Winterhawks, and, uh, and they had a very, very good team. Gary Nylander and a lot of those guys, you know. And uh, we took them to six games uh, before we, we lost it. But uh, our, our crowds increased from 15, 1,600. Uh, we had some crowds, uh, 6,000, 6,500. And Portland always sold out 10,000 a game. And uh, it, it, was, it was pretty exciting. So, semi-retired now, right? Semi-retired, yeah, yeah. Just, uh, uh, I, I last coached uh, uh, with uh, Doug Corman. Uh, I, North Stars? With the North yeah. Stars, yeah. I, and I, I had three stints with him. I coached uh, two years uh, with him, and then I had to quit because my business was growing, and I didn't have time for it. Then I helped uh, Bruce Baker, uh, uh, took over the coaching reins and he got me and Doug to help him out. And then last time we were with Doug, I think about six years ago. Yeah. And I coached uh, the, the uh, Nelson House Flames uh, Junior B for about six six years. Okay, good. So all in all, I think it was, uh, I had 14 uh, years of ju junior hockey from the Western Hockey League to the uh, uh, Manitoba and uh, Alberta Junior Hockey League, and then the Nelson House team. Do you miss it? Yes, yes, I do. I, I miss, I miss the guys. Uh, I miss the camaraderie. I, um, as a coach, you always try and take the players to the next level, and uh, and uh, you know, I've seen a lot of players that I talked to that played in the NHL, and they said, Jack. I wasn't the most talented guy on the ice, but I was one of the hardest runners, and that's what got me here. So I would tell the players that, and tell them to keep working. Okay. Well, okay, Jack. So uh, again, congratulations, and uh, <coughs> thank you for all the years of uh, you know with the North Stars and everything else. So thanks a lot. Thank you very much. I'm really humbled by this. Thank you.